what's up guys poison here and I'm back playing Ape Escape 3 now this video wasn't gonna go up on Tuesday which is the day I'm recording it but it's 1 38 right now and I already have another video rendering right now so this video is not gonna be up on Tuesday and I'm very sorry guys but like I said I like to keep my videos set on a schedule I like to have Ape Escape come out at around you know what's have happening you tried checking out sometimes new I like to have my Ape Escape videos come out at 2 2 30 ish pre at the absolute latest this video by the time it's done by the time i'm done recording rendering and uploading it'll be around four to five o'clock which that's way too late i don't want that so this video's gonna come out tomorrow on wednesday so sorry guys i truly am but i don't want like an unscheduled stuff you know there's a monkey over there um makes excellent snow forts Where's he at? Oh, he's up there. Okay. So, um, yeah. Sorry about that. I would love to have this up today, but I can't. But what I can tell you about today... So, last night, me and my friends... So, I'm gonna list off my friends in order of which who I picked up, because I was the one driving yesterday. And it was really cool driving, you know. Got to hang out with friends, got to listen to music. Can we knock him out that way? Okay, we're gonna restore camera. But yeah, so, um, I went to go see, uh, Deadpool with my friends Stuart, Oz, Martine, and Kobe, and it was an awesome movie, honestly. I'm a huge Deadpool fan, um, I would have loved to have worn my Deadpool plugs, but, um, unfortunately my ears are stretched way bigger than what size my plugs are at, so I couldn't wear them, so I'm like, uh, eh, whatever, okay, fine. You know, I could go without my, um, Deadpool plugs, it's no problem, because no one would have seen it anyways, my hair would cover up my ears. Plus, the movie theater was dark. But, um... Yeah, Devil was amazing, to be honest. I loved it. It was everything I was expecting and hoping it to be, which was awesome. Um, only weird thing, though, is Deadpool was rated R, because, you know, it had a lot of cursing. It had a lot of fucking violence. There was a strip club scene where you saw boobs and badge. There was a lot of things that made it X or R-rated. And behind my friend Oz, there was, like, a little, like, seven-year-old. Like, who came with his dad. I'm like, what the fuck? You really just gonna bring your kid here? And then, of course, my friend made a joke. It's like, come on, man. At least wait till your balls drop to watch this movie. I'm like, goddamn. But yeah, it just surprised me. I'm like, why would you bring a kid to this movie? You know it's R-rated. Like, what the hell's wrong with you, man? Like, I... I, I don't know. I was really surprised. I'm like, why would you do that? That's pretty fucked up, honestly. Like... This movie is not for kids, dude. If you knew if you knew who Deadpool was, you would know this movie's not for kids. Even his comic books are not for kids. And Deadpool is not a superhero. He's a pretty fucked up character, honestly. Which the movie fully depicted, and I was like, damn, this is actually a really good You know, this actually shows Deadpool as Deadpool. Not that bullshit X-Men Origins Wolverine shit. I'm like, this is actually really good. Yeah, I think it's right here. Yep. Come on, always gotta remember the little secrets. But yeah, it was actually a nice movie. I would definitely recommend it. Even if you're not a fan of Deadpool, if you like action, if you like weird, messed up comedy, you'll love this movie. Which remind me of like this comment I or this uh something someone posted on like um 98 Rock, which is a radio station here in Sacramento. Um they ended up posting something about Deadpool, and this woman who knew nothing of Deadpool is all like why would they cast Ryan Reynolds? It's like, this is a superhero movie. They need a tall, big, buff guy. Which, Ryan Reynolds is a tall guy. He's pretty fucking tall. Kind of skinny, but he's still buff. And it's like, oh, they should have got someone like... Oh, she didn't say Hulk Hogan, but she's like... They should have got someone big to play Deadpool, you know? Because this is a superhero movie. People ripped into her. People were not fucking nice. They were fucking reckless with what they were saying to her. They're like... Oh, if you watch Deadpool, you know you would know that Ryan Reynolds is perfect for this role. Because seriously, Deadpool isn't a superhero, first off. Deadpool's is well, Deadpool is kind of buff in some comics. In most comics, though, he's pretty fucking skinny. Which Ryan, Re Ryan Reynolds is. And it's like, dude, these people just fucking wrecked her, like, so hard. Like, they were not calm about what they were saying. They're like, oh, if you picked up a Deadpool comic, you would know that Ryan Reynolds is the perfect choice for him. He embodies his comedy and everything. I'm like, yeah, he does. 
fucking view to comedy pretty good. Oh, what the hell? Well, you just unleashed my cyber ace. Come on, shoot him. I'm still saying, Cyber Ace is like Sailor Moon or some shit. But yeah, um... I also have like two videos going up on... T that came up yesterday that I didn't want... I don't like having multiple recordings in one day, honestly. I feel like I kind of spam you guys with content enough, because I'm uploading at least once a day. Minus weekends, but I seriously feel like I'm spamming you guys with content. Which, I don't plan on stopping, but, you know, I didn't want to upload three videos in one day. I already uploaded a uh, Topic Tuesday and then my, um, Team Fortress 2 thing. But, um, I was something else to talk about. So, yeah, about my next Let's Play, or Quick Play. So, my next episode of Quick Play, after I'm done with Ape Escape and I do the 5-minute review, is going to be of, um, my next Quick Play is going to be of Left 4 Dead 1. So, Left 4 Dead 1, you could complete... Uh, the campaign you can complete one campaign in an hour it's not a long game but the thing is um yeah it takes like an hour so I'll probably just do uh I'm gonna play through all the campaigns though but I'll probably do one 30 minute let's play stop and come back and do the r next uh, 30 minutes and then that'll be a full campaign I forgot what we do here do we just walk up we got him Come on, you, all that hype, and you didn't even capture it. Ukiji. But yeah, a lot of people were saying, oh, Deadpool's overrated, you know. There was way too much, not overrated, overhyped. I'm like, motherfuck. Like, obviously, we're talking about Deadpool here. So this episode isn't for kids. This one will have an age restriction on it. But I'm like, motherfucker, do you know who Deadpool is? It's like... If you are, you don't even have to be a Deadpool fan. If you know who Deadpool is, this movie was made exactly how Deadpool is. Like, within the, if you saw the Deadpool trailer and teaser, that's literally like the first five to ten minutes of the movie. That's the first scene of the movie, basically. But it's like, that's fucking Deadpool. Like, that's what I was hoping for. That's what I was expecting. That's what I was happy to see, honestly. Like, I didn't want to see a bullshit PG-13 Deadpool. I'm like, no. This movie better have, you know, cussing, murder. This better be everything it, I expected it to be. And it was. Give me one second. I'm going to grab some more. Another thing. So, I don't really buy movies that often because, you know, I don't really watch movies. I watch, like, TV shows, anime, um... But yeah, I don't really buy, like, box sets and stuff, or movies, but, um, the reason I say box sets is because I'll probably end up buying Archer for, um, I already have Archer Season 4, I believe? Yeah, it's Archer Season 4. It's the one where, um, give me one second, actually, it's right here. Give me a second. Archer to complete Season 4, yeah. Oh no, his mustache is gone. Well, shit. If you know Archer Season 4, if you know a box set, it comes with a fake mustache you can put on Archer, and it's gone, and I need to look for it. Shit. But yeah, um, I don't really buy, like, movies that often. I don't buy box sets of DVDs or anything. But, um, you know, after seeing Deadpool, that is definitely a movie I will buy. Like, I think the only movies I own are, um, Ted and Dead Space Downfall. Those are the only movies I own. Other than that, I don't really own movies. Okay, so it's that way. Yeah, I don't really own movies that much, because, you know, it's like... I don't really watch movies. I watch Netflix. And even then, I don't watch movies. I just watch Archer. But after seeing Deadpool, I'm like, yeah. When this movie comes out, I will buy it first day. Like, without a doubt, this is a movie that's going to be bought. Oh, no. Phone fell. Turned off. I don't know where the thing is. 
Okay, I'm trying to figure out where the little monkey, where the hidden monkey stuff is. Let's see. That way? Huh, okay, so it's not here. That's weird. Where? Oh, I know where the secret monkey thing is. It's at the end. Watch. I basically turned into this power for no reason. Yeah, I turned into it for no reason. Can I turn it on? Nope. Thought I could turn it on. Or I could tap it to turn it on. But nope, never mind. But yeah, if you were hesitant on like, oh, should I go see Deadpool? Yes, go see it. Trust me. Let's just, we're gonna act like we're playing Legends, though. We're just gonna smash all these pots. Um, what else is there to talk about from yesterday? Oh, it was really cool just driving around because I had to go drop off my friend who lives in downtown, which I've never driven in. And, uh, kind of bad story, kind of not. Um, so after we dropped him off at his, uh, housing complex, we ended up, like, leaving and we didn't know which way to go. So we end up leaving his house and like this guy turns right and we're like, come on, dude, you're taking forever to turn right. So I turn left, might have gone down a one-way street. Thankfully, there were no cars coming. Like seriously, thank Christ there were no cars coming. But yeah, um, me and my friends were like, oh shit, can we go this way? And then like, we soon discovered like, nope, we can't go this way. So I'm like, all right, I'm just going to duck into here real quick. So we end up just, um going not down an alleyway but through this like one street and then we just end up um leaving but it was just weird like because first time ever in downtown i've never driven there and we were on the outskirts of downtown too but we end up going down the wrong street i'm like oh shit i don't think we're supposed to be going this way and my friend's like yeah you're not supposed to i'm like but there's no sign saying you know one way yeah bananas on the other side or the hidden rooms on the other side but it's like, come on, man. You're supposed to say which way. Like, you're supposed to have signs saying one way. I never once saw a sign saying one way. Oh, shit. Is it right here? No, it's above us. Damn it. Yeah, it's right above us. Watch. What's up, man? It's to be like over here somewhere. Yeah, right here. Okay. So I think we have t six more to capture. Four in here. The other one out there. Seven. Oh shit, we have seven to capture. What type of ninja gets, you know, sneaked on? We're just capturing them all. It's not even a challenge. Where's the other one? Gulata. Damn. We're gonna steal all your shit real quick. Okay, so we're we're gonna try not to um, turn into a ninja unless we have to. Which my sister still says that I don't need to capture all the like elite monkeys, but I'm still gonna capture them because why not? Like we have to capture Monkey Yellow next, because why the hell not? She's easy to capture. We could do it. Just do it. Oh shit. Okay, there's a monkey over here. Oh, fuck, did he shoot me? I think he just ninja starred me. What an asshole. Alright, watch this. There's one up there. Okay, I'm like, so there's a few more we have to capture. Let's see. Alright, he's at the very top, so we have to probably bring him down somehow. Oh, we can go up here. Okay. Oh, he's pretending to be a little carp thing. Fishy feet. And the last one's down in here, watch. Because I remember when we played the mission the first time, we ended up leaving them. Funny thing though, if you destroy this, 
I'm about to take that cookie though. Oh, you motherfucker! Whatever, we capture dance and give us our net back. Seriously, I'm still saying this is fucking Sailor Moon. That's basically what it looks like. So I'm gonna grab a drink of water now. We finish that. Really impressive. Twenty-one monkeys captured. Accidentally just bumped my microphone. We're gonna go purchase a cookie and a few oh, things. You've come back without your oh no, you've come back without your gadget. But everything, but everything else is okay. Whenever you also, whenever you come back here, your gadgets will also come back with you. Oh really? You see, the gadgets are filled with special sensors. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Meh. I've seen better. Uh, give me one second, guys. Yes. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. Alright, sorry guys. Uh, just got a call to turn off the heater. Which, we will do that in a second. Let's just buy some jackets, you know. How many do we have? Seven. Let's purchase one more. Make it a total of nine, yeah. I like having stuff in odd numbers. No. Um, we should probably start buying the games, though. Yeah, we have Super Monkey Throw Stadium, then we have that final one, which is a fighting one. Uh, music shop? I believe I could buy my own music. Can you dance music? Yeah, whatever. Uh, we're not gonna waste our time with this stuff. We're just gonna continue on. We have about 14 minutes left before we're done with this recording. So, let's save it real quick, like always. And it feels really good playing this game. I believe this is our, um... I believe this is our episode 12, maybe? Episode 13, something around that. But we're actually almost done. We have to move on to the Legend of Ninja Style Sumo. To capture Monkey Yellow. Alright. But yeah, I've, I'm very much enjoying playing this game for you guys. Even if it's not getting that many views. I'm actually enjoying playing this game. Am I a ninja? Really? I didn't even hit her. It. I didn't hit him. Sorry, I remember. It's not a girl, it's a boy. Really? Like, that's really what you're gonna hit me on, bruh? Fuck him up. Oh yeah, we've probably got this, actually. A motorcycle. Also, seeing Deadpool in the beginning episode, or beginning scene where uh, the guy has a motorcycle, I'm like, dude, I want a motorcycle even more. I would love to get into moto vlogging. That'd be awesome. I would love to get into car vlogs, actually. You know, car vlogs would not be hard to do, and me and my friends... Probably the same way we were driving yesterday. I'm probably gonna start doing car blogs actually. But not really vlogs. We're just gonna do like QA. We're gonna ask each other stupid questions and we're gonna answer them, basically. And I've already thought of a few questions to ask, which would be funny to answer, just see what the answer would be. But yeah, we beat Monkey Yellow within like maybe a minute or two. It was not that hard. And we only got we didn't even get out of our morph until the end. We kept that morph the whole way through. So you know what? That's pretty good. Um, let's go data desk, shave. Once again, I'm pretty sure you guys still aren't getting why I do like the two saves. It makes a lot of sense, so let's say I finish this video, and let's say the video becomes corrupted and I have to redo the episode. I Everything I said is basically gone, but I could replay the mission to show you guys what goes on. So that's the whole reason why I do the way I do. So there's none here yet. And this will probably take us 10 minutes to do this mission. So this will fill up the time nicely. Get away from me! Don't you Allah Akbar next to me?
This guy's stupid. He blows up, doesn't even hit anyone. Like, I've never once been hit by him, and Nier has my sister, so it's like, that's kind of a stupid, um, robot to have there. Maybe it's there to incite fear into you, because I could get the psychological horror that might be happening, you know, you think, oh, I'm gonna jump and he's gonna get me. I hate these things so much. You see, I can see this guy getting you, but even then, it's like, really, dude? Okay, so no one here. Yeah, we have to go into the actual town to get to anything, or the ruins to get anything. I don't know. This probably isn't going to be a full 30 minute episode. It'll probably be like last time where I cut it out in like 27 minutes. Or it's gonna, whatever. Ignore him. Just like we always do. Nothing here. I'm telling you, it's going to be in these ruins or in the sky. Don't you dare! Oh shit, that scared me. So, let's see, we have to go this way. Still straightforward, okay. This is a great gadget to have, honestly. It helps out a lot. Okay, yeah, so it's laying us up there. So yeah, they're all gonna be in the sky. And I remember I missed a huge room in the center of the um, Zodiac place. I missed a huge room in the center. I already know that. There's one up there. So they're all up there, which is good. We're just gonna rush this. We're not gonna waste any time. Come back here! Mikurin, and then, let's see. Down below. Oh, I wonder what could be here! It's, uh, it's telling me to go that way, but I can't! I wonder what's in here! I completely forgot about this one here. I knew it was somewhere here, I forgot it was just here, here, though. So we need two more monkeys after we clear out this room. Pisuk. They all got blasters and arrows. So I'm pretty sure you can hit these and something happens. Huh, I guess not. And there's sometimes hidden ones in here, so we're just gonna keep hitting these. You know, okay, something's hidden in here, we know it's here. Nope. So we have two missing inside the, um, the center of the thing we're inside of. Like, that ain't not making any sense, the center inside the thing we're already inside, but, um, there's like a top floor. I don't know how we get up there. Yeah, it's like up there, okay, so. Yeah, see, there's two over there. Two little bombs. Bob bomb wannabes. Bob bomb's pretty cool, though. I like Bob bomb. But the best Mario villain has to be Boo. Boos are the shit. It's like a little Death Star. Yeah, there's two in here, watch. Um. Oh, I'm like, wait, where is he? I don't see him. I clearly just ran to that. I didn't have to run to it. Okay, so we have to pull one of these chains. Or we have to hit that thing up there. Hey, lucky shot. It's a Pegasus? What is it? 
ho 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 you sly motherfucker. Sorry, Valucha. See you guys! We have five minutes left, but we're done with this episode for now. I know my net's right there, dude. Calm down. Calm down. And since today is Tuesday, this video is going up tomorrow. I'm going to try to record a few more episodes in the next hour. I'll try to record two more for Thursday and Friday. Um, if you guys would like me to record a video for um, Saturday, let me know. Because I don't have anything planned for Saturday. But Sunday, I do have Demons Cross planned. So guys, yeah, let me know if you want to see a video on Saturday. If not, cool. It gives me, you know, more time to do whatever I want. So guys, thank you for watching this episode of Quick Play. I will see you guys tomorrow for another episode. Until then, have an awesome day. Thank you for watching. Bye.